I kind of fell in love with the martial arts at a really, really young age, like really young age. Ninja Turtles young kind of age, like, yeah, like everyone had something that they wanted to be, like a cop or a firefighter or a doctor or president or whatever, and I was like, had no idea, you know, and like it really stressed me out as a child, like, oh shit, what am I, you know, like, blah, blah, blah. then the one day the Ninja Turtles came on TV, <laughs> and this is it, I mean, ran into my mom, like really ecstatic and stuff, I'm like, mom, 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 I figured it out, she's like, what, what, what is it, and I'm like, I'm going to be a Ninja Turtle, man, <laughs> you know, and she said, I, I, I couldn't be a turtle, because turtles don't make any money. <laughs> As far as fighting is concerned, I had an issue when I first moved to Cape Town with my mom. I look a lot like the natural inhabitants of that part of the world, but I don't sound like them. My accent is a bit confused, my family is very mixed. So I got punched in the face a lot. I have a good morning and then boom, you know, so the one day I couldn't take it and I actually went home. And usually your mom's like, what's wrong? You're like, nothing, nothing, you know? But I was like, okay, listen, this is what's happening, women. You know, this, this sucks, like, these guys are beating me up and stuff. And so she took me to the front yard, taught me how to fight. Uh, she taught me how to box. We did a lot of wrestling together, mom and I, so, you know. She told me that, you know, to always stand up for myself and never start fights, but to finish them, that kind of thing, you know. So I went to school with the tricks she had taught me and they worked. And then they didn't just work, I, I had fun, you know, so. I'll never forget the first time I punched someone in the face. This guy started and then it was just like a reflex action, like my arm struck out and I'll never forget the way it felt. Like that punch, it was like a defining moment for me kind of thing. So I did a lot of punching after that. <laughs> Went from defending myself to defending anyone who had a problem. <laughs> Usually, every week, by Wednesday, you start to feel it's, it's coming. By Thursday, you start to feel like you're, you're as thin as a piece of paper. And by Friday, you're broken. From the morning, even, it doesn't matter, you're, you're, you're physically and mentally broken just from the load, you know, the whole week, training really hard, like, you're broken. So tired, so, so tired. Friday, man, in the week, in the shit, quite the day, every day, I want to go, oh! I think very much in that aspect we become, we really do become brawlers, like we become toughened, stronger and your physical condition, the amount of damage you can take will surprise you at the end of the day because you're constantly getting hit, you're constantly being blood bullied by your trainers like and they're pounding you all the time and you want to cry and you want to stop and stop but then at the end of the week, at the end of the day, end of the fight when you're like bang, whoa, that didn't, you, nothing, yeah, let's go then you understand what it's all about and why it's there, you know. They've got to toughen you in here first, toughen you here, you know, and the rest of it will follow, you know. So I think in that aspect, yeah, we are brawlers, but it's very much a martial art, and it's the martial art that's turned us into brawlers, because it, it demands so much from us. You know? Train, eat, sleep, train. <laughs> it. <laughs> no boom boom, you know. <laughs> no drinking, no staying up late, that kind of stuff. With the big fights as well, you train so hard in the morning. If you don't sleep in the afternoon, then you're going to be useless for the evening, which means you're not going to get as much out of it. And also means the trainers are going to be all over you. They will literally beat you up, you know, because they're like, what the hell is going on? And you, you, they, we know you're cheating. You didn't do this or you didn't do this. And what's going on? Or, you know, eat, sleep. Train. I mean, train, eat, sleep, train, eat, sleep, train. That's that. That that is it. You know. I've always had a great appreciation, like I said, for the art itself. I've put a lot of work into becoming technical. And then also, I, I, I grew up loving boxers, like, you know, you know the Prince Nazis, the Roy Jones Juniors, you know. So I try very much to emulate their movement and, you know, their attitudes in the ring, which drives my trainers crazy. Don't top your head in Muay Thai, you know. But um, I've, I've been able to get away with it so far, so that's pretty good. Uh, so I think I'm a fairly exciting, exciting fighter to watch, I think, which is always a good thing to do, you know. I've had, yeah, guys, people have said that quite often, so I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with that. I'm, I'm an exciting fighter.
think it is very much a martial art. It's just, it's practical. None of it is for show. None of it. Every single thing you do from faking to punching to kneeing to elbowing, these things have been combed over millions and millions of times and you've had millions and millions of guys jump into the ring and use them on each other. So at the end of the day, you know these things, they work. You know, they really, really do work.